Okay, so let's talk about working with universal covers. Um, so what I want to describe is the following. Okay, uh, this is a this is a theorem, and it says that. Uh, well, I'm just going to write it. So uh, pi one x x bar is uh, isomorphic to to uh, the automorphisms of x tilde over x in the opposite category. Okay, and so I, I want to give some details with this. So this is a theorem. Uh, and this is here. Okay, and so what is everything in here? So x is this, x over k is a scheme. Uh, k is a field. Uh, x this this x bar here is a point in the algebraic closure. I'm going to use k bar in this video. Um, and then an x tilde uh, is a pro universal cover. Okay. And um, I'm going to describe what, what, what this thing is and then how you get this uh, isomorphism. Okay. So let's give a definition. So let x over k be a scheme. Okay. A pro universal cover So this is for the Atoll topology. Uh, okay, is uh, is a collection. So it's f tilde, x tilde to x. So is a this is going to be a pro scheme where uh, so let's say f tilde. Uh, so this thing here is going to be equal to a collection of fi's from xi to x. Let's say for i bigger than or equal to zero, where these are finite at all covers. Okay, so these are going to be finite at all covers, um, uh, uh, which are uh, such that uh, they have the, solo the following property. Okay, and it says that for every cover, uh, let's say for every g, uh, y, to x, uh, this is going to be finite at all. Um, uh, there exists some i and uh, hi from xi to yi or to y uh, such that the following holds. Okay, uh, and w here's what we have: we had our cover here, y to x. Okay, and we're going to be able to factor it through one of these dudes like this. Okay, so this is a pro-universal cover. A pro-universal cover is a system of coverings uh, sorry, uh, goes this way, sorry. Is a system of coverings which um, which all the other coverings factor. Okay, um, let me make a remark here. With a bit of work, uh, so these exist, first of all. Second of all, um, uh, so without loss of generality, uh, we can assume that um, that these fi's from xi to x are Galois, i.e. that these are categorical quotients, and these are quotients. So, like, we have some auto group of automorphisms here. And that this is a quotient map. Um, okay, uh, this this second part takes a, a bunch of work. So this is, uh, I think, in SGA one, maybe expose four, but I, I'm not sure. Um, okay, so but this is in the, in this business where the theory of, um, of of fundamental groups is developed uh, using the notion of Galois categories. All right. Okay, so now let's let's go back to to uh, the, our thing. So our statement here is we're going to want to show that the fundamental group is the same thing as the automorphisms here, and to do this um, we want to prove uh, something else. So there's kind of an important thing. So let's first recall 
what the definition of the fundamental group was. Um, so this, uh, so pi one of x x bar. Okay, so this is defined to be the automorphisms of this fiber functor. Okay, where this dude here is a function from uh, these finite at all covers, uh, covers of x two sets. Okay. Uh, and it's given by taking uh, some g here, let's say from y to x, okay, and it maps it to this uh, g inverse of x bar, like so, okay, and so this is the fiber, so the idea is, again, we have this, so here's y, it looks like, okay, something like this, x, y, and then this goes down G, and then this is the fiber here. And then you're just kind of kind of permute the fibers like this. Okay? And so um, what we'll want to show is that F of X is actually representable. Okay? So there's um, this theorem. And this is growth and deke. Is that... Uh, so given uh, C which is a bunch of collections, CIs, uh, in um, uh, X tilde uh, K bar lifting uh, X bar in X K bar, um, uh, one may construct Um, so, and so, a natural equivalence. Okay, so I'm going to write it like this. V C here, uh, and this goes from the uh, hom of x tilde to uh, this fiber functor. Okay, so these are both functors from finite tall covers of x to. Um, uh, so, finite at all covers of X to sets. So, okay. So, both are from uh, this guy to sets. Okay. And then we're going to do a natural transformation such that at each time we have a bijection. And moreover, the bijection is compatible with the action of, of Galois, or action of pi 1. Okay. So, um, it's given like this, uh, and so uh, how is this determined? So, uh, so hom of x tilde to y, okay. So we're taking y, which is is a finite tall cover. Uh, this maps to uh, f of x of y, okay. Uh, and this thing here is just this limit of these dudes y. And uh, it depends on C. And so what you actually you do is you just take... Um, so we showed that uh, for... Uh, okay, so we showed that th these guys were co-final, so that there were uh, collections of HIs. So we have HIs here. And what this HI maps to is just HI of CI. Okay? So this collection here. Uh, I guess so, so we can do tuples like this. Okay? And this is in the fiber... And th this is all of them. So, uh, okay, so perhaps it's clear that, um, well, I, I guess, um, well, okay, okay, what, what the, the magic of this is, okay, so let's, let's, this is the statement, okay, and this is kind of a weird statement because you're like, okay, uh, you're telling me that uh, these, since this is a, this is an isomorphism, Okay, so this is an isomorphism that you're telling me that this, uh, the, these fibers, or this fiber functor is, com or, or, sorry, actually, this is the, the, this is, this part looks like it has less data. The part over here, you're, you're telling me that a homomorphism here is completely determined by uh, where the CI is sent. Okay, so like the point of this, the, the point, the hard part of this, Okay, is showing that each uh, hi from xi to y 
is completely determined by uh, where uh, CI is sent. Okay, and so that takes a bit of work. Um, so that's that's the that's the kind of idea here. Is that and then and that's actually true. That's that's what's weird. Okay, but given this right. This statement here is really saying that um, that this functor is representable. So this this says that uh, f of x is represented uh, by this uh, x tilde by this universal cover or by the pro universal cover. Okay, so that's that's the point. Okay, so now that we have uh, that it's pro uh, representable, okay, now we can conclude. So uh, we conclude. Okay, and what do I mean by conclude? Well, what were we doing? We, we're trying to show that uh, uh, that these two things are isomorphic here, right? This is what we wanted. Okay, and it just follows after you prove uh, that this natural transformation. Uh, is an equivalence of categories, or is an equivalence of functors. So we conclude by uh, taking out. Okay, so i.e., um, so what do we have? We had this equivalence here. Okay, so this guy. So this was uh, hom x tilde, so this is a pro-universal cover. And then, uh, so this tells us that out of this dude here, so it's a group, okay, and then I guess I could call this out phi here. So this is a, this is a group isomorphism uh, okay. Uh, but this thing here is is by Yoneda. Uh, so we could call this h of x tilde, right? That's what this thing is inside. Uh, so by Yoneda, this is just um, out of x tilde. Okay. Okay. So this is this Yoneda embedding, and then this is uh, that. Okay. So uh, now we have this, and this is by definition pi 1 of xx bar.